My name's Claire Holmes and I'm a station manager. I work for South Yorkshire Fire and Rescue and I work at our training centre in Sheffield. I'm in charge of recruit training and lots of other courses and then part of my job as well is to attend incidents in my fire service vehicle which is a small car with blue lights on it. As a little girl, I mainly wanted to be a police officer, to be honest, so I've ended up in the wrong emergency service. Uh, I also wanted to be a PE teacher because I was, really loved sports and being outside. Um, and a vet was a, another thing that I'd like to be because I loved animals so much. So lots of different roles, but the main thing I knew that I wanted was to do something that was uh, outdoors and around lots of people and not be sat sort of in one place for too long, not doing anything. It changed probably when I was about 19, 20 and my brother got into the fire brigade and uh, he started being a firefighter and uh, he said fire service are recruiting why don't you have a try at going for the fire service um, and I did but unfortunately I didn't get in the first time because I didn't have a strong enough grip strength so they test we have these um, machines that measure how strong your grip is and I didn't pass that test unfortunately but that just spurred me on to go on again and, and practice and then I got in when I was 22. So that's how I sort of got into the fire service. Every day is different, so today I'm helping with the recruits and assessing the recruits and making sure that they're passing their assessments so they're ready to go out on station. Uh, this afternoon I might well be at a fire or um, a, a car crash. Um, just so many different varied things that I get to do in the fire service and lots of opportunities for training courses, meeting different people. No two days are the same, it's just really interesting. As a firefighter when you first join it's very nerve wracking because you're wondering what's going to be happening and what scenes you're going to be met with when you arrive and is there going to be people that are injured and need your help straight away, is there going to be a big fire and you're putting your life in danger and um, so initially when you first start it's more sort of nerves um, and as I've progressed through the fire service and got promoted into different managerial roles it's more about making sure that I keep other people safe, other firefighters safe. So when I'm attending I'm looking at the building and making sure that those firefighters aren't putting themselves in too much danger and having a bigger oversight of the whole incident and speaking to the police officers that are there and the ambulance commanders that are there and making sure that we coordinate a response and, and rescue people as effectively as we can. Do you understand the drill? Yes. Drill is detail, get to work. As a woman in the fire service, it's very different now to how it was when I first started, which was nearly 20 years ago. When I first started, there weren't many women at all, really, in the fire service. And there were some stations that had perhaps never even worked with a woman before, so they were wondering if I was fit enough or strong enough or brave enough to do the job. Um, but now it's very different. There's lots more women in the job. Um, and it's very much, uh, we'll just work together as one team. So there's women and men and different ages, different sizes, different shapes, and people just work together and we're all just working for the same outcome. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a positive, but I think there is always going to be a difference between a, a woman who's a firefighter and a male firefighter, obvious differences, but each of us have our own strengths and skills that we bring to the team. And it's just about finding the best person to do whatever particular task needs to be done. So there's, there's things that we can all bring to the team. So one of the things that I find really rewarding about this job is getting to see how people develop in their roles. So when I first started in the fire service, I was a firefighter at this training centre here, so nearly 20 years ago. And then I actually became an instructor here about seven or eight years ago, so I was instructing all the other recruits. One of the recruits that I instructed here was Steph. Um, and Steph is now an instructor at this training centre. So I've hopefully had a big impact on helping to shape her career and um, help to... Uh, see that progression so that she's now a crew manager and she's really developing in her role. My name's Steph, uh, I live in Dinnington, North Anston. I joined in 2015, did my probation, uh, station manager Holmes was my instructor. Uh, then I went to Rotherham Fire Station for the last six years uh, and then, uh, then station manager Holmes was my watch manager there as well. So she's, she's had me for a few years really. Uh, yeah, and then I've uh, become a crew manager this year uh, and I've ended up as an instructor in training school. Alpha One, okay, so your brief is, um, we've got a large building filled with smoke, a fire inside and we're missing persons. So we've got people missing inside there. What I'd like to do is take that hose reel, go in through that front door 
on a right hand directional search, search and rescue, looking for missing persons. Okay, hazards in there is we've got fire and smoke, uh, nothing else that we're aware of at the moment. Just continue on a right hand directional. Do you understand your brief? Yeah. Okay, brief as detail, get to work. I've always wanted to be a firefighter. The uh, reason for that is the guys from the local fire station came into our school uh, when I was in primary school, gave us a little bit of a talk and I knew from then that from five years old that's what I wanted to do. I couldn't possibly say and nail it down to one thing but what I can honestly say and on art is it's the best thing that I've ever done in my life. Um, I, it, I've had a couple of jobs before, I've been a chef, I've worked in an office and I can't ever see myself doing anything else apart from this now. Best thing. It's really, really, really rewarding, a really rewarding job. So um, if you are able to assist in sort of rescuing someone or effectively saving someone's life, it's just a, such a brilliant feeling. There's no better feeling in the world um, or making a, a difference just in people's lives as well. So fire service isn't all about attending fires and incidents. We do a lot of work in the community and helping vulnerable people, older people and children just making a difference in somebody's life. My best day ever in my job was the day where I rescued some puppies from a house fire. That were like, I'm a big, I'm a big dog lover, so that was the best day ever. So I don't think I'm going to top that very much, am I? <laughs> you do need to be interested in keeping yourself physically fit because there are fitness tests that we have to do every, uh, I think it's every six months, and you have to meet a certain standard. So you do have to be interested in being fit. Obviously, fire service can sometimes be a little bit risky, so ideally you need to not have any concerns about working at height or in the dark, and those are the things that are tested um, and that can actually be improved. So if you've got a few concerns that you might be a little bit worried about working at, in a tall, off a ladder or anything like that, you can improve on that. Well, it is difficult, you, and if you've not got like a natural affinity with, with using tools and being practical, you've kind of got to force yourself to get involved because the lads do find it a little bit more natural and a bit easier sometimes to just, just crack on, especially when you're talking about road traffic collision. We've got a lot of tools that we, we use there. Um, so, yeah, it's just about getting stuck in, just making your mistakes because that's where we learn again, isn't it? And then, and then cracking on and learning from that. If you want to be a firefighter, go for it. It's about maintaining your fitness and being enthusiastic. Um, I know there's a lot of sports happening in schools, isn't there? So if you're getting involved with stuff like that, it's going to stand you in really good stead. Obviously, team sports are going to be great. Uh, we work together as a team. We're never on our own. Uh, but I can honestly, like I said before, and on art, say it's the best job that I've ever had. Don't let anything, anybody tell you that you can't do something, you can do anything you want and I never thought that when I was at school that I'd be in this position now uh, in training school as a station manager and being in charge of large teams of firefighters. So you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it.